Hello friends, I would like to welcome to my part 2 video on injectable manufacturing process. In this video friends, I am going to reveal all the information related to the area classification or, or controls you need to be considered for injectable manufacturing. I will be discuss in the detail of every stages, every area or every activity you need to perform during manufacturing activity. So please be with me till the end of the video and enjoy the session. Don't forget to comment end of this session and please share and like this video. Before going ahead with my main presentation, I would like to request you all to subscribe my channel Pharmaceutical Resource and Education Services and press the bell icon to get notification of my all upcoming videos. In this presentation, we will discuss regarding the area classification and associate controls involved in injectable manufacturing area. Let's begin the discussion with HVAC system. When we talk about clean room controls and management, HVAC is the most important system we should discuss. It helps to maintain the clean room classification including pressure differential, air velocity, air change, ACPH, temperature and humidity. Whereas BMS and EMS uh, is electronic control operation and recording system which nowadays integrated with the 21 CFR part 11 compliance. So friends, HVAC is very important system to help your area to maintain your clean room with proper classification and it helps to maintain all the attributes or controls need to be established in the clean room. Clean room consists following classification grade B, grade C and grade D. Critical but not control, sorry, control but not classified areas are called as CNC. Uh, we found most of the background of grade D area are CNC. The external environment are called uncontrolled area. So uh, for your better understanding I, I would like to say clean room. The concept of clean room is just like a onion. As, as you peel off the onion and you will go to the inner core part of the onion, it will be more cleaner. Uh, that's how the clean room has been designed. The core part are more clean and as you move from the outer to inside, uh, it will be more clean. That, that's how I'm talking the area is core. So warehouse, one of the important uh, area uh, for manufacturing facility. Uh, so uh, there is no special requirement for maintaining any grade for warehouse. Uh, normally it is uh, controlled by temperature or humidity but not claim as any kind of grade or classification. Uh, if your material need to be kept in a special temperature, uh, you can keep it in refrigerator as for the instruction. Or if, if the material need to be handled uh, in uh, subdue light, if it is a heat light sensitive material, then uh, you need to take the appropriate care of the product during handling or dispensing. So next major step for manufacturing is dispensing where uh, we'd like to ensure all the raw material, FBA, solvent, whatever the thing required for the manufacturing are dispensed. So dispensing area are, uh, are 
install and maintain as a grade C. Uh, we perform dispensing under RLF. Although there is option of uh, doing dispensing of raw material and API under isolator. So those are negative isolator, majorly used for the hazardous, cancerous or any kind of potent material handling during formulations or manufacturing. Isolator can be installed in the grade D or C area. Apart from that, primary packing material are the less critical to be dispensed can be dispensed in CNC under LF. Few material like API, they may be oxygen sensitive. Ensure you purge nitrogen and seal it properly. Appropriate PPT need to be used by the operator uh, based on the requirement when they are handling any kind of potent material. Compounding or mixing. In this phase, we will be mixing the API, excipient and solvent with appropriate formula as for the batch record. Then it will be moved for filtration and it will hold to a filtration vessel. So this tanks for compounding and mixing, this is uh, not an aseptic activity, this is non-sterile activity, can be performed in grade C area. Tanks will be clean and it will be performed CIP and SIP before processing for a, any kind of formulation activity. Ensure tank should not move from a low classified zone once it is clean and ready for manufacturing. Ensure air filter are installed and integrity as is verified before and after uses as per the written procedure. Once the formulation is ready in the holding vessels, the solution will be moved through the filtration train. The filtration train are composed of different set of filter, filter filtration like 0.45 to 0.2 micron filter. 0.2 micron filters are called as sterile gate filter. This kind of sterile filtrations and holding sterile bulk should to be performed with the background of grade B under laminar airflow. Whereas, if your process is a terminal relation process, you can have the filtration which call as bioburden reduction filtration. Uh, we will not call it sterile filtrations that can be performed in the grade C area under laminar airflow. However, today I am not discussing regarding the terminal relation. We will proceed with our aseptic injectable manufacturing process only. The next stage is vial washing step. Vial washing machine to be installed in the grade C area. Decartening activity to remove the carton and and to review or to observe the vial any kind of breakage or segregations can be done in CNC area then material need to be moved to the vial washing zone through a material empty hatch or pass box. Appropriate governing practices as per the grade C need to be need to be used by the operator. In the same area, we will have deeper injection tunnel where the washing machine is installed, means grade C area. As you know, tunnel are divided into a preheating zone, heating zone and cooling zone where the container will have subsequent uh, we will go through a subsequent heating process, it will cool down and it will move to the filling area. The area is grade C, although the container will move through the tunnel under a leaf. So, washing component preparation and sterilization. Any component washing washed prepare and sterilize to be moved into the grade B or filling area need to be washed and handled under grade C with laminar airflow. Preparation and storage of any kind of tools, material, any kind of filling apparatus need to be done in the grade C area under LF. 
then all those items need to be moved for sterilization which will be and the sterilizer are installed in the grade C area the loading site and the unloading will be performed in the grade B area under LAF it may happen you will unload the material under mobile LAF and it will move to the filling area filling machine are installed in grade B area where the filling will consider under laminar airflow consider as grade A classification there are couple of stages like filling bunging sealing or if it is live laser then it will be filling hub stoppering uh, then it will it will travel to lyo then it will have lyophilization then unloading then sealing so entire process need to be done uh, under grade a zone with the background of grade b in case of isolator isolator can be installed uh, into the grade c or grade d area Life flotation does not have any specific requirement for the grading as i talking about hub stoppering vial will file or any kind of hub container partially stopper container it will move to the life laser it will load and it will unload the entire activity will be performed under lf with the background of grade b life laser itself consists with a chamber which does not categorize the chamber in any kind of grade but it is a sterilized chamber it will have subsequent control of washing cleaning and different stages and finally it will be uh, sip will be performed sterilization process and after that the chamber will be utilized for life laser and the technical part of the life laser can be into the cnc area and it is uh, quite apart from your uh, clean rooms so it does not have any impact then the ceiling portals can be considered in under lf with the background grade b once the ceiling is done then your product can be moved for the inspection and then quarantine uh, if there is a duration for the packing inspection area can be cnc even packing can be done in the cnc so friends in in this video i just able to uh, help you out with the detail of area classification uh, used in the injectable process in our next video we will we'll come with more additional detail regarding the uh, injectable manufacturing process hope you have liked this video please share and comment and like our channel and subscribe thank you very much